Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do a quick unboxing of the Apple Watch Series 9 and the Apple Watch Ultra 2. Now you can pick these up online. I'll throw the links up in the description. Let's get right into it. First things first, shout out to White Shoes, back in the building. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. White shoes. shoes. Calm down. Okay, now as usual, Samsung Knights, I need y'all to stand down and stand by. It's Apple Mafia season. Now on a side note, you're gonna see me wearing two watches in this video. I'm not trying to flex, I'm not trying to be a douchebag, but a lot of us walk around like this, with an Android phone and an iPhone. So I wanna show you how these watches are gonna look on your wrist, because you do have choices. Okay, let's start off with the Apple Watch Series 9. Now this one is gonna start at 400 bucks for the aluminum version. Now it comes in two different sizes. You got 41 millimeters and 45 millimeters. You can buy it in pink, midnight, starlight, silver, and product red. Now you can also buy the stainless steel version. That one's gonna start at 700 bucks. It's Wi-Fi and cellular service. It comes in 41 or 45 millimeters, and you can get it in gold, silver, or graphite. Now I know what you're saying. What's the difference between the Series 8 and the Series 9? Well, there's a few upgrades. Now you're getting the new S9 SIP, that should make the watch faster and smoother. You're getting a brighter display. Now you're getting up to 2000 nits brightness as opposed to 1000 nits brightness with the Series 8. That was one of my biggest gripes with the Series 8. I just wanted it to be a little bit brighter. Once you use the Apple Watch Ultra, you can't go back to 1000 nits. So now we're getting 2000 nits on the Series 9. You're gonna get better battery due to the S9 SIP. You're gonna get faster and more accurate dictation. You got the ultra wideband chip. That's gonna make it easier to ping your iPhone with more precise locations. Now you're getting double the storage, 64 gigs as opposed to 32. You're getting Siri on device. And of course, the new double tap feature. All right, so I went with the stainless steel, gold version, 700 bucks, Wi-Fi cellular service. Okay, now as far as the presentation, nice white box. Y'all know I like that. Giggity. Let's see what you get inside. Okay, now this looks uh, pretty cute. Bunch of different color Apple Watches. This is gonna be the gold Melanese band. Shoes inspecting that box for quality. Here we go. Okay, the little sticker struggles. Right. One more. Right. Okay, Apple Watch Series 9. That gold looks so nice in the box too. Now I tend to go with the gold version because I like to have a more dressy style watch. Here it is, gold Apple Watch Series 9. All right, shoes, calm down. Let's see what else you get in here. This is gonna be your charger. Now I notice with all of the new chargers, okay, everything is trolling today. All of the new chargers have this kind of braided cable. I like that. So this is USB Type-C to the standard wireless charger. And of course, let's pop open this Melanie's band real quick. Okay, <laughs> here's the Melanie's band. Okay, now, I love this one. I actually lost my gold one from last year. So now we got a new one. Okay, this is the Melanie's band. Now I'm gonna take this watch off real quick. Ice shoes, can you fall back just a, just a tad? This is my Apple Watch Series uh, 8 in gold with my favorite band. Now, this is the Ice Giant Moissanite Bezel. Y'all see me do the <laughs> diamond test on this one. The only thing I didn't like about this one, it has those screws in the back for that back plate. But what I've been doing lately, this is a little off topic, i just been wearing it without the back plate. Now, don't you gotta put, make sure you put it on correctly. Let me do that one more time. If you put it on like this without the back plate, I'm gonna show you something. I just been wearing it like this. Now look at this, it doesn't move around. I still get all my functionality, but I like to change bands a lot. So having to keep unscrewing that was kind of annoying. Now when I take it off, it just pops right out. So here's series eight versus series, ah, hold on a second, I right, shoes. I'm sorry, I had to file shoes to the side. <laughs> here's series eight and series nine. Okay, they look identical. I'm pretty sure they weigh exactly the same. Let's let matter of fact, take it to the scales of justice. Why not? Okay, let's see. 
Okay, so this is series eight, 51, series nine, 51. Okay, I was right. They weigh exactly the same and they look the same. All of the real differences are gonna be internally. Now I gotta be totally honest with y'all, <laughs> having a watch that's faster and smooth, I mean, I can't really see it being too much faster and smooth or making a real difference to me for the things that I use my watch for. Like how much faster do I need to make a phone call or to check a text message, you know, or using GPS. But we'll see, I'll put it to the test when I do my full review and let y'all know whether it's worth the upgrade or not. And we'll see if these double tap features are really anything or just gimmicks. All right, so here's how the Series 9 looks on the wrist. Shoes is in rare form, y'all. All right, shoes. Here's the Series 9 on the wrist. Let me get a little wipe down too. Okay. Beautiful. Now, if you're a Samsung Knight, which one y'all think looks better? Personally, all right, here's my personal opinion. I'd rather have the Galaxy Watch 6 over the Apple Watch Series 9. But I'd rather have the Apple Watch Ultra over the Galaxy Watch because it's bigger. I like the bigger watches, but some of y'all like smaller. Some of y'all like the round face with the rotating bezel, which I absolutely love. But um, if you don't have an Android phone, then <laughs> you don't got no choice, okay? So here's the Series 9. I'm gonna power this up, set up all my information, and then we'll breeze through the OS. Let's take it over to the Apple Watch Ultra 2. Now for the Apple Watch Ultra 2, this one starts at 800 bucks. Of course, you got the same titanium case, and I know you're gonna ask, what's the difference between the Apple Watch Ultra and the Apple Watch Ultra 2? Now you're getting some new internal features and one major upgrade. You get new night mode that uses ambient light to activate. You got Siri on device. You got the new S9 SIP, that's gonna make the watch faster and smoother. You got the new double tap feature. You got the ultra wideband chip, that's gonna give you more precise GPS locations when you're pinging your iPhone. You're getting better battery life due to night mode. You got new Siri health features. You got double the storage. Now you're getting 64 gigs as opposed to 32. And of course, the brighter display. Now the Apple Watch Ultra, this is already 2000 nits. That's kind of crazy. With the Apple Watch Ultra 2, now you're getting up to 3000 nits brightness. That's insane. All right, here we go. Same white box, watch on the front. Let's get and pop this one open. Okay, so for presentation, I like it so far. Okay, now what is this? You got a nice little Apple Watch book right here. Okay, now these are the different colors. I went with the trail loop. Okay, shows you all of the features. Okay, side button, you got a depth gauge, three microphone array, you got the crown guard, GPS, action button. Internal orange, uh, interna internal, international orange. This is why you gotta make videos with glasses. Of course, you got your siren. Okay, you got new watch faces. Okay, the depth app. Okay, action button. Okay, all of the basic stuff. Now, what is this? Little certificate of authenticity? Oh no, just, <laughs> just books and shit. Okay, here we go. Apple Watch Ultra 2. Let's take a look at the band first. Why not? Okay, so this is the trail loop let's see what color is this this is going to be the now i know this is going to get extra dirty but i got a bunch of watch bands so you got to wear this one sparingly or just wash it okay the trail loop with the uh, blue and orange okay a little little uniqueness i like that okay now for the apple watch ultra 2 this is actually my favorite watch i know samsung nights i'll be catching a lot of heat because in a lot of my videos, oh, why, why are you not wearing the Galaxy Watch? Why are you not wearing the Galaxy Watch with the Rolex face? It's because I like the Ultra a little bit better. It's just bigger, brighter, more beastly looking to me. I like it. Let's see. Inside, now it's going to be the same Apple Watch charger with the braided cable. And this is going to be your... Why did I slam that down extra hard? This is going to be your Apple Watch Ultra 2. Now, of course, let's see. A little size comparison. Here's the Ultra and the Ultra 2. Now, as far as the case, they pretty much look the same. I'm hoping that all of the accessories will fit the same. Let's check the weight. Okay, so this is the Ultra 1, 
61, Ultra 2, 61. Okay, now here's my biggest uh, concern. Y'all know I like accessories for my watches. The Ice Giant, let's see if this one works. Okay, this, this, is, this looks like it's gonna fit perfectly. If I can figure out. <laughs> Figure out the, um, how to put this on. I'm trying to do this from behind the camera. Okay, check this out. Now, it definitely fits all of your old Apple Watch Ultra accessories. This is another one of my favorite ones, the Ice Giant. Let me show you how this one looks on the wrist. This is actually a case to five band with the Ice Giant bezel. Okay, I did a full video for this. I'll leave a link right here. Oh, this looks so sick. Okay, and I'll show you my other favorite one. This is the one y'all see in most of my videos. Again, I'll have a link for this one to show you how it looks. But let's slap on the original uh, tr trail loop band. Now, let me show you how easy this is to take off. This is what I like, changing accessories just that fast. Okay, so let's try the trail loop. Okay. Now just make sure you put the gray side down. You see you got you see you got those three, the three little rubber dots, and another side is gonna be two with a gray side. The gray side goes down. That's the easiest way to remember when you're changing bands all of the time. Okay, then we'll just go ahead and slap this on. Yeah, this was one of my favorite bands from the original Ultra because of this little Velcro right here. You get the perfect fit. Let's wipe it down. Okay, Apple Watch Ultra 2, just as big, even brighter. And this is why I like it better than the Galaxy Watch. This is just a preference for me. I, when it comes to tech watches, smart watches, I prefer square because I'm reading text messages all day, reading emails. I prefer a square display as opposed to the round one where I gotta cycle down a little bit more. Even though a lot of information does come up square, I just like it better for me. Now y'all can buy whatever y'all want and do your thing. Let me go ahead and pair this up real quick, and then we'll walk through some of the features. All right, so let's walk through some of the basic functions. Now, this is not gonna be a full review. This is just an unboxing video, but let me show you how these watches work. So, you can swipe down. That'll be your notifications. You can swipe up. Got all your different panels. And then you can hit all apps. Now, you got your home button. Okay, you could double press that go between different pages. You can long press. What's the weather for today? It's currently cloudy and so That'll be for your Siri, or you could just actually say the word. Okay, here's all your quick toggles. Okay, if you double press, brings up all your cards. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna keep this one pretty, pretty basic. Same thing with the Ultra. Okay, you got your digital crown. Okay, one tap for your home button. Same thing, all your toggles. Double tap for your cards. Everything is the same. But this one, now you have an actual actual uh, action button on the Ultra 2. Okay, now I'm gonna customize that one. Haven't done that yet. Let me just show you the watch faces. This is for the Series 9. Okay, so let's go to the face gallery. Okay, now you got a bunch of different faces to choose from. You got new watch faces. So you got solar analog, you got palette. My man Snoopy right here. Got the Nike Globe. Okay, all of these are customizable. You got Activity, Artist, Astronomy, The Breathe. I like these. California. Okay. Chronographs. Bunch to choose from. Chronograph Pro. Different colors. Of course, there's a lot of gold theme faces here because this is the gold watch. You got the contour. A lot of people like that. You got Count Up. You got Explorer, Fire and Water, GMT, Gradient. Okay, oh, too many to choose from. A lot of infographs, kaleidoscopes, liquid metal. This one actually looks dope. Okay, now let me see. Uh, I think I might have, yeah, I gotta delete some watch faces. I got a gang of them on here already. You got Luna, the Memojis, Meridian, Metropolitan. Mickey and Minnie Mouse, okay, Modular, Modular Compact, Modular Duo, Motions, 
these actually move. Nike analog. And this is dope. Remember, you still only get the Nike faces if you bought the Nike Apple Watch. Now you can just buy the Nike Apple Watch band and have all of the faces on deck. You got Nike Bounce, Nike Compact, Nike Digital. I know, because y'all remember I used to always buy the Nike version. Now you don't have to do that. Just buy the band. Nike Hybrids. Okay, this one is kind of tough, too. I like these ones right here. Numerals. A lot of watch faces. Numero Duo. Numero Monos. Look at this. This is crazy. Palettes. And, of course, photos. Oh, more? Portraits. <laughs> okay. Of course, you got the Pride. You got Simple. You got Siri. Snoopy. So you, okay, so you, Stripes. Time Lapse. Toy Story. Toy Girl. Okay, now this is... Oh, I was about to say, this is too many watch faces to show y'all, but that's pretty much it. Now, let's see. Same thing for the Ultra. Okay, so we got new faces. You got the Modular Ultra. Oh, okay, I got to download, delete some faces. I'll play with that later. By the time I do the full review, we'll see which face do I got on here right now. Okay, I got the classic, but we're going to switch to this one. You got activities, artists, astronomy, breathe. Let's see, California. All of the same ones, basically. Let's see if I see anything different. Okay, modular duos, modular ultra. All right, so these are the ones that you're going to probably want to try out for your new ultra. Ones that look like that. Motion, Nike, Nike Compact, photos, portraits. Yeah, everything is the same. Now, as of right now, it looks like the double tap feature hasn't been activated yet. They said it's going to be coming soon. But, um, yeah, everything looks the same. So, like I said, I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. Y'all know, when it comes to these watches, though, I'm going to do a lot of accessory videos because one thing that I love about Apple Watches is how easy it is to change the bands. Okay, so we're going to play with all of these different watch faces. Uh, watch faces. We're going to play with all of these different watch bands. But this is probably one of my favorite ones. This is the one y'all see the most. This is from Case to Five on the Ultra. I literally love this one. Now, let me let me wipe it down. I pretty much wear this one every day to the gym. And look how nice it still looks. Okay, but it just gives you a little bit more protection. And it just fits perfectly. All right, now, if y'all can't see this, I'll, maybe I'll put this as a bonus clip at the end of the video. Me and Shoes had a little fight off camera. All right, because Shoes been trolling me all day. Look at all these scratches. I'm actually bleeding. It is what it is, though, man. That's the struggles. All right, so anyway, this is the Apple Watch Series 9, Apple Watch Ultra 2. The biggest question I'm going to answer when I do my full review is, is it worth the upgrade? And I can pretty much answer that for you right now. I would say... For the Apple Watch Series 9, if you got a Series 8 and your biggest gripe was the same gripe I had, that the display is not bright enough, then it's a definite upgrade for you because now you're getting the Apple Watch Ultra brightness, 2,000 nits. Now, for the upgrade for the Apple Watch Ultra 2, if you're not heavy into sports and diving and motor uh, cycling and doing all kind of extra crazy stuff, if you got an Apple Watch Ultra and you find yourself only checking your text messages, sending phone calls, controlling your music, using GPS, okay, checking your emails, it's going to feel exactly the same, okay? It's not going to be worth the upgrade for you, even though it is even brighter I've never been in a situation where I was like, my Apple Watch Ultra doesn't seem bright enough. I, this watch was already OD bright. But we're going to play with the new night mode. Let's see. Um, yeah, I got I to gotta, I gotta figure this watch out. Because I haven't been playing with the, the new series yet. Okay, what's this? Moderate. Okay, there's all my notifications. Yeah. Okay. Looks good, though. Looks good. Anyway. <laughs> Hit me up in the comments and let me know if there's anything. Why, 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 why can't I always say that last line? Let me try that one more time. Hit me up in the comments and let me know if there's anything specific y'all want me to cover when I do the full review. But as usual, I tear it apart from top to bottom. But most importantly, the accessories. We got the accessories coming up. A bunch of new watch bands. A bunch of new uh, watch cases. We're going to go crazy. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this one. Let's do that one more time. Bang. All right, so real quick, I hated to end the video without showing y'all the new watch face. So here's how it's going to look. Okay, so now this one is customizable. Okay, so you got elevation, seconds, depth. You can change that. Okay, change the actual clock part. 
Let's see. Night mode. Okay, we're going to leave that on auto. Multicolor. Oh, you got different colors? Let's go with multicolor, though. That one looks pretty vibrant. Okay. The complications. Basically, you could go crazy with this one. But this is the actual seconds going. I like that. Real nice. Oh, this is cool, too. <laughs> All right, anyway. So, like I said, I'll play with this one a little bit more, though. Shout out to everybody rocking with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Plus. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Boxer. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where I'm at full time. 100% full throttle. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with the new stream on Sundays. Y'all already know. Stream gangsters on deck. Get your drinks ready. No meat boys are loud. Oh yeah. Special shout out to everybody following me on Snapchat. Flossy underscore Carter. That's where I'm at. And a special shout out to the notification squad. I see y'all in the comment section early. Hashtag salute. Oh yeah. One more thing. I almost forgot. Fellas, ladies, say it with me. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, close your eyes and picture me rolling. It's your boy Floss, I'm back. Deuces. Enterprise, Spock here. Spock wanted to beam up. Enterprise out. watches together so I can finish this video. Look at this fucking cat. You see, when I be like, white shoes, calm down. This is why I have to say that, yeah. Because this is the kind of shit she be doing in between the shots. Oh, come on, bro. Bro, they, get a cat. They said it would be fun. This is what they said. All right. Eee, eee, eee. Look at this. Ah. Ah. Okay, okay, okay. All right. All right, all right. All right. Ah, you fucking... Ah, look at this... Bro, come on, man, you fucking asshole.